Welcome to the Choose SolidWorks screencast series. My name is Neil Cook, Product Marketing Manager at SolidWorks. You know, working in 3D has so many benefits, from visualization to clash detection to being able to make design changes quickly. But when things start to go wrong, they can go spectacularly wrong. So this is not a topic discussed openly when choosing a CAD system. SolidWorks, on the other hand, is like a trusted friend, helping you when you need help the most, which can make a big difference to the way you work, and that's what the Screencast series is all about. With your current design tool, is it easy to understand why things have gone wrong and how to fix them? Does it offer solutions to problems in clear and easy to understand language? And worst of all, do you waste time figuring out software issues instead of focusing on your design? SolidWorks and its built-in troubleshooting tools break down the barriers to help you master complex design tasks and fix problems in record time and with less frustration. When your designs fight you, only SolidWorks fights back. Sketching is the cornerstone of any design, whether it's a concept sketch or the start of a fantastic new 3D model. You'll want to make sure your sketches are behaving as expected. In this example, we see there are no dimensions locating this top hole, but we need more control over it. So we'll just edit the sketch and add the dimensions we need. Just as overdimensioning a manufacturing drawing can cause confusion on the shop floor, overdimensioning a sketch has the same effect. We can reuse this dimension just by dragging and dropping it to the right place, a real time saver. When you add the new dimension in, alarm bells start ringing. First, you get the option to turn the new dimension into a reference dimension or make it drive the sketch, which is what we want. Okay, well I think we've definitely upset it there, but not to worry. Clicking on the message saying that it's overdefined takes us into the Sketch Expert, which is one of a set of tools designed to make your life easier, called Swift, or SolidWorks Intelligent Feature Technology to give it its full name. Sketch Expert will diagnose how the sketch was created and offer various solutions. As we cycle through these, the dimensions or constraints that can be deleted to make the sketch work are clearly shown on the screen. So we'll get rid of this constraint which holds the two holes vertically one above the other and now we have a solution. We also want to control this size too. This sketch has a lot of possible solutions so we get a warning asking us if we're sure. Yes we're sure. This time it gets the bad constraint first time. Using the sketch expert we solve the problem in a matter of seconds, so no more sitting there scratching your head trying to work out what's going on. How simple is that? The Swift tools extend into a number of common areas that can cause problems for unsuspecting users. Adding fillets to parts, particularly where you might get sets of edges coming together, can take even an expert a few attempts to get it right. We'll start off by using the fillet expert which enables us to select similar edges all in one go. For example, we may want all the internal radii. When we add more edges to the selection, some of them don't preview. No preview, no fillet. Alice is warning us in advance. Though not to worry, since the feature expert has detected that these fillets can't all go on in one go, so it's looking at all the possible ways to make this part. And you can see it's done a good job by creating several fillet features, something that would have taken a lot longer to do manually. However, it can't second guess your design intent, so some of the corner fillets may need fixing. This corner, for example, will be difficult to manufacture and was made this way because it was added after the underlying fillet. Simple to fix, just drag one fillet after the other. Some corners though may not be so easy to fix. The fillet expert can take care of those too. 
Changing a corner type is as easy as choosing the one you like best. This can then be easily copied to all the other corner fillets that need fixing in the model. The magnifying glass again coming in handy when working on small details. Just because SOLIDWORKS made the fillets for you, doesn't mean that you have no control over them. If certain edges need to be modified, but they are part of a larger group of filleted edges, it's not a problem. Just select the ones to change, and change them. SOLIDWORKS will just make an extra fillet feature to accommodate the changes. Finally, another common issue when designing is adding draft. 3D CAD prefers to add draft before the fillets, which means you have to do some work to find which fillets are affected by the draft before you can proceed. The draft expert, can you guess, works all that out for you. The draft is added as a feature in the correct position in the feature tree. If you've ever used 3D CAD, I bet you can really appreciate how much time and effort the fillet and draft expert would save you. As customer requirements change, so do your designs. We don't need this pocket anymore, so I'll go ahead and delete it. SOLIDWORKS has quietly put a warning triangle against another feature. Hover over it with the mouse, and we get good feedback as to what the issue is and how we can fix it. Nice thing is, if this design is still being modified, you don't have to tackle the issue now if you don't want to. In fact, you can even save the part and go home for the evening and carry on working on it some other time. But let's fix it now. If we edit the sketch, the brown coloured dimensions are a problem, as they are dangling in space. Selecting them highlights where the edges used to be, a great way of remembering what was there before. Again, we'll just drag and drop them onto another edge. Now we can go home. No, wait, there's just one more thing, the mate expert. Mates are what hold components together in an assembly. With SOLIDWORKS, this allows us to create mechanisms very easily. As designs get more complex, the number of mates increases, and there's always the chance that you may add too many mates, and then all of a sudden your mechanism doesn't work anymore. Like in this example, we can clearly see that these two faces don't line up, but we'll make them line up anyway. This is a good way of working, because we may want this change to happen. SOLIDWORKS lets us know that this conflicts with what we have already, but we'll go ahead and force that mating condition. We get an error and big red crosses in the feature manager. We could manually try to work out what the problem is, but why not use the mate expert? A box showing all the problem mates appears, and when selected, a callout indicating which parts are mated to which shows up on the screen. We definitely want this to be tangent so we can force SOLIDWORKS to use this mate. This has a knock-on effect so we can visit each problem mate in turn until we find the one that's not needed. And in fact it turns out that the one I added is causing all the problems. So we can edit it or suppress it. The bottom line is, when something like this throws up an error and you're struggling to find what the issue is, SOLIDWORKS has the tools to find the problem fast and with clear, easy to understand feedback so you know what must be done to make things right. When your designs fight you, only SOLIDWORKS fights back. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tour of some of the SOLIDWORKS troubleshooting tools. We strive to deliver simple but effective tools to help you focus on making your designs, not fighting with the CAD system and to make it an enjoyable experience too. We want you to look forward to using the product at the start of the day and value its role at the end of the day. For more information and to see the other screencasts in this series, please go to www.solidworks.com forward slash choose or contact your local SOLIDWORKS reseller. My name is Neil Cook. Thank you for watching.